Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this rational equation. As you can see, 1 divided by a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c equal to 16 divided by 115. And now we are going to find the value of a plus b plus c. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this equation, this right hand side fraction 16 divided by 115. And we can write this fraction by using this rule. This could be written as 1 divided by 115 divided by 16. We are just going to flip this one over and the left hand side is going to be the same. Let's focus on this denominator on this left hand side and the denominator on the right hand side as well. We put them in bracket and now we are going to use this very basic rule. Under this rule I can equate these denominators as well. So in this next step, I have equated this denominator with this uh, denominator as you can see in this uh, equation. Now let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. Now in this next step, we are going to manipulate this equation one to find the value of this a plus b plus c. So we have to be a little bit creative and we will be using the concept of long division. Now let me give you this example pretty quick. 19 divided by 5 for example. And now this 19 divided by 5 could be written as this uh, long division algorithm. As you can see, I put down 19 and 19 is called dividend and this 5 is called divisor and then we're going to get 3 as a quotient and our remainder turns out to be 4. So these are the parts of our long division algorithm. And now let's focus on this fraction on the right hand side 115 divided by 16 and here I have wrote it down as a long division. And now let's go ahead and perform the long division. So 16 times 7 is 112. And now we are going to subtract this thing and 3 is our remainder. And now we can see that this 7, this is our quotient. This is our A value over here and this is our remainder 3. So thus our A value turns out to be 7. And now we are going to repeat the same process once again. This 16 that our divisor is going to become as a dividend and this div remainder rather is going to become our divisor. Now let's go ahead and perform long division once again. So 3 times 5 is 15 and let's subtract 15 from this 16. So 1 is our remainder. And now this uh, 5, this our dividend turns out to be our B value and this is 1 is our remainder. So therefore our B value turns out to be 5. And now let's go ahead and repeat this process one more time and this time this divisor is going to become our dividend and this remainder one is going to become our divisor. So let's perform the long division. So this one times three is three and it's going to subtract and we're going to get zero as remainder. And now this our quotient three is going to become our C value and our remainder turns out to be zero. Since the remainder turns out to be zero, so we are going to stop at this point. So our C value turns out to be three. So thus our A value turns out to be seven, B is five and C is three. And now let me show you how we're gonna check our these values. I'm gonna replace A by seven, B by five 
and C by 3 and then we're going to see is this left hand side is indeed equal to this right hand side. Let me go ahead and plug it in these value. A is 7 so 7 plus 1 divided by B is 5 plus 1 over C is 3. The question mark is this left hand side is equal to this right hand side 115 divided by 16 and now this number 5 plus 1 over 3 I have just copied it down we know 5 is a whole number and 1 over 3 is a fraction when you add a whole number and fraction you can merge them as a mixed number so we got 5 and 1 third and this could be written as 16 divided by 3. So our this left hand side could be written as 7 plus 1 divided by this one 16 divided by 3. I can write 16 divided by 3 and now the question mark is it equal to 115 divided by 16 and now we can simplify 1 divided by 16 over 3 by using this uh, basic rule. So therefore this left hand side is going to become 7 plus uh, 3 divided by 16 and then the question mark is equal to 115 divided by 16. And now here I have just copied down this left hand side over here and once again this is our whole number and this is a fraction so we can merge them as a mixed number 7 and 3 16 and this could be written as 16 times 7 is 112 plus 3 is 115 divided by 16. So thus we can write this left hand side as 115 divided by 16 equals to now the question mark is this left hand side equal to this right hand side 115 divided by 16 and we can see that this indeed is a true statement. So therefore we conclude that these a value is indeed 7, B value is 5 and C value is 3 and they are indeed our valid values. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and find the value of A plus B plus C and we have all these values right up here. Let's fill in the blanks. So 7 plus 5 plus 3 and that is going to give us equal to 15 our answer. So thus our A plus B plus C value turns out to be 15. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.